Hey guys, Dan Moran from MixingLife.com here. I've noticed that some of the most popular items in our library is when we showcase real-world projects. Now, as you guys know, myself, Pat and Robbie, we are professional colorists, so we work on projects for other people all the time. Now, unfortunately, it's very hard to get access to this footage due to, if it's a commercial, the brand own it, if it's a broadcast documentary, the network own it. So I thought I'd build a project that I can share with you guys. You know, all the ugly parts, all the difficult parts, and I'm going to cover everything from editorial to grading to adding some VFX and actually finishing this project and rendering it with audio ready to be delivered. So some great points is I've worked with some footage that you can find online so you guys can hopefully grade along with this. But my only warning is please don't be too hard on me about the story. I am definitely not a professional editor. I just thought I'd try and put something together that would work in a narrative situation so we could actually have a, a project to work on. So let's take a look and see what you guys think. So there you have it. Hopefully this looks interesting to you guys. And if you just check out underneath the video, you'll see the credits for the individual people that shot the sections. And if you remember, I'm going to release links underneath the introduction video and where you can download some of this footage to grade along. So I'll give you a quick teaser of what I've worked on. So initially, a big thing is I've worked on some red dragon footage here. So it was pretty intense actually using this camera for the first time, I have to admit, I'm quite impressed. So you can see if I just bypass that, you can see where we started and that's where we finished up. Uh, I also worked on a lot of VFX and compositing for the first time in Resolve. So for example, on shots like this, um, I actually got some renders from After Effects and I dropped them in. So we have some lens flares generated in Resolve and some camera shake. Uh, even things like the opening shot, that's... Um, a Photoshop file here for the news layout. The text is then built using Resolve's text generators. I'm using some sapphires again for the uh, TV effect and the camera shake. Now it's not all external plugins uh, on certain shots like these two. Uh, these are just power windows. So I've used uh, different shape power windows to try and give a sense of scale. So we've got one on the bridge and one on the water to try and make it feel like the spaceships are flying over. Uh, exactly the same thing on this. It's just a simple power window. And it's all about really layering it up. So if we go back to my edit page, you'll see that it's quite a complex timeline, probably the most complex I've ever built. So I've got five layers, I've got tons of speed changes. We use optical flow to get some good speed changes on this shot. Uh, and we've worked with blending modes on certain clips. So I'm working with uh, alpha channels on the end clip. So it's going to be a really great series. I hope that you guys enjoy it as I've enjoyed building it. It was quite fun to push Resolve right to the limit, see what we could actually do. And I'm, I'm really, really impressed. So I'm going to do uh, probably at least five insights on this as part of our 20 days of insights. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. So if you're not a member, you'll need to sign up to see the rest of the videos. And if you are a member, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching. I've been Dan Moran from MixingLot.com.